Hey guys, how's it going? Whew, good morning. Uh, this is Flynnmon14 here. And I found these at Walmart uh, the other day. They were on rollback for, I think, uh, about 4 Yeah, they were like four ninety. No, they were three ninety nine, which is awesome for, yeah, Invasion of Chaos and Metal Raiders. And, but yeah, no music in today's video. We're just going to get right to the point. Uh, nice, short, and quick video. I think you guys have seen these around, but they're in Walmart, and yeah, there are some uh, retro slash old school booster packs in there. Now, are these first edition? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think they're first edition, so a lot of people think these may be like, you know, um, offshoot slash byproduct of, you know, legendary collections, you know, the game board editions, and people just return them or whatever. But uh, long story short, hey, the packs are legitimate. And we're going to open them. So let's start with Metal, Metal Raiders. This is the second set that came out in Yu-Gi-Oh. I could talk a lot about it, but yeah, anyway. Sorry there's no music today but for you guys, but uh, it's actually like, believe it or not, it's like, it's like a 30 of the morning here. So <laughs> but yeah, you get a few just kind of randomly assorted cards and then the uh, Metal Raiders pack. Actually, let's just go over all the randomly assorted cards now. That way I won't have to crack open this uh, shell. Because, uh, <laughs> oh my god, did I really just do that? Well, I clearly just woke up, guys. <laughs> I started to say I won't have to crack open this uh, Shadow of Infinity. Uh, <laughs> oh, Stardust. That's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Looks like today may be a good opening. But yeah, there's the... Yeah, nice and free of the box. Invasion of Chaos, Metal Rivers. So yeah, sorry about no music and all, and yeah, I'm sure you guys understand. It's really early in the morning. What time is it? It's like 4.10. Anyway, let's go over all the cards we got. Uh, promo Stardust, pretty good. Promo Tuning, I think these are from like promos from a Shiny Victory, so that's cool. Spiral Wave, Phantasm, Magician Right Hand, some comments here. Venue, uh, Zodiac. Uh, Dark Worm, Gift Exchange, and I think, is that two Spiral Crashes? Hold on. Uh, oh, no, no, that's Spiral Wave, that's right. Phantasmal Spiral Power, uh, Boa Boon, Boa Ba Boon, <laughs> interesting card. Mm, I don't really remember where this card's from. And we have number 22, Zom Zombie Stein, interesting. It's actually a pretty good rank uh, 8 monster. Uh, can be tricky to use, but anyway. So it looks like for the like spare card, you get uh, basically two assorted uh, hollows. And they were... Yeah, we got one super, like, I think out of each, right? Or, yeah. And then we got Stardust. So, hmm, interesting. So yeah, I don't know. It could it could be the that whatever cards are you know extra in here or just randomly assorted. I mean th theoretically, who knows what's behind you know these like old school packs. I mean there could be a really big lucky one out there. Bug signal, diamond, dust on. But yeah, there could be a, just a really lucky uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like old school pack out there with like I don't know man like. All hollows. I mean, who knows, right? Who really knows? They, they probably just, like I said, threw a bunch of spares in here from people who returned stuff at Walmart. But uh, overall, pretty good on the. Uh, oh yeah, so we got basically supers for the most part, promos and supers, yeah, because Stardust and Tuning are both supers, and then yeah. So if you're looking for ultras out of the, you know, the spares, ultras or secret rares, I wouldn't buy it for that. However, if you are looking for cards out of like special editions, uh, especially recent special editions, like Shining Victories as you saw, then eh, could be a good pack for you. I don't know. Anyway, that's for the packs. Now for the exciting part. Metal Raiders. Oh man. Really wish I had some music playing, but eh, I don't want to wake anybody, any of the kids up, so. <laughs> what? What? Blood has kids? No, I don't have kids, but there are kids up in the house, so... Alright, awesome. And these aren't reprints, because you see it just says MRD, 
So that means no reprint. If it was reprint, it would be MRD-EN. Fun fact. Ancient Lizard Warrior. Let's just read the flavor text. Before the dawn of man, this Lizard Warrior reigns rule supreme. Cool. Empress Judge. Pretty cool card. I like using it on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel of the Roses. Mega Thunderball. <laughs> for Emo Flower. Dark Elf for the rare. That's not bad, actually. Pretty powerful old school beat stick. Uh, costs a, a, a grand of points to attack, but yeah, pretty good. You don't necessarily have to attack, is the thing, and it has nice stats. Ground Attacker Bugroth, really one of the better commons out of this set. And Jirai Gumo. I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think I was mentioning this in Dawn of Destiny, but imagine like an old school beatdown deck with, you know, three like Gaia Power and like three of these three Goblin Attack Force. That puts a four-star monster at 2,700, and Goblin Force, like, 2,800. That's insane, if you think about it. That's pretty insane. <laughs> Almost beat a Blue Eyes. But, uh, anyway, Nibatory. Oh, we gotta read this. <laughs> Go Drumsticks, Brooklyn Rose! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that, uh, digital arc episode. It's going digital, man. Pretty awesome that we got Niwatori. Uh, let's read the text, hold on. Swallows enemies whole and uses their essence as energy. Wow, I can't believe we actually pulled that card. That's pretty awesome. And Doma, the Angel of Silence, which is fitting Pegasus, because now I will silence you forever. Uh, fairy rules over the end of existence. And that's it for that. So, good Dark Elf. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I got to read, read you guys some of the nostalgic quotes will not read you some of them but just some of them came to mind anyway last pack invasion of chaos hey guys you know how, how it rolls here on Pokemon Cool War Team's channel so hey wish me luck uh by the way if you like this video yeah feel free to yeah leave a like down there in the comment and you know or uh <laughs> what I say leave a like down there in the comment oh my goodness it's so early I need some more of this uh orange crush here hang on Mm. <sighs> that's good but uh what's i trying to say yeah if you like the opening uh hit uh what is it notifications bus button subscribe the like button or feel free to leave feedback uh, as far as common comments in the uh video whether it's you know positive negative i don't mind we're, we're all we're all friends here man so Anyway, Witch Doctor of Chaos, as you guys saw clearly. Be gone, knave. Be gone, you scum. Ooh, nice. That's an awesome common. Call Sorcerer. Very good card. DD Borderline. And what will we get for the rare? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to bet we're probably only going to get a basic rare. I mean, you only bought one of these, but let's see. Maybe it's something pretty... Yeah, thought so. Ultra Evolution Pill. It's actually not a bad card, though. Tributes a reptile, and you get a di big dino out if you if you need it. A uh, big koala. Yeah, like, I didn't really expect to pull, like, oh my god, a secret rare chaos emperor dragon. No, no, no. <laughs> like, like, I came into this with really low expectations. Uh, but, I mean, I love the nostalgia recycle. This is actually a pretty interesting card. During your standby phase... By paying 300 life points, select one non-monster card, a.k.a. a spell or trap card, and return to the bottom of the deck now. That may not seem like a good effect, but think about all the cards that, like, cycle these days. You know what I mean? Like, go from the deck to the graveyard. Not to mention, you can take, like, for example, if you pay 300 points to return, let me think of a good non-monster card these days. Blazing Mirror Force. Solemn Judgment. Yeah, goes to the bottom of the deck. And why is that not such a bad thing? Well, because because so many decks do cycle their cards out, you know what I mean, for the combos. Um, basically, that card's not going to be at the bottom of your deck for very long. If you're playing any meta-relevant meta, meta relevant deck. Which makes this a, a pretty good card. Like, you wouldn't think. But yeah. I think it's kind of worth it. <laughs> Imagine playing Sol Solemn Judgment twice twice or three times in a duel. I don't know. I'm sure there are better ways to get it back. But overall, eh, I could see some great combos with it. 
and Sylphide. And, ooh, nice common. Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. I'll read this one. Discard a spell card. Negate the activation of a spell card and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate spell cards with that same name for the rest of the duel. That is actually really, really good. Even to this day, this can be a very annoying counter, counter trap. So, especially if you're a pro that's running like 3 of something like, I don't know, let's say they're running a warrior style deck, they probably have 3 of the warrior returning alive. <laughs> yeah, and if you negate the first one, it's just like, poof, you know, any other ones they draw, it's a dead draw. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, <laughs> that's it for the cards we pulled. Uh, just for a recap, I will hold up the promos like Stardust. Yeah, I'll hold up the Stardust, the tuning, and I'll hold up the uh, Ultra Evolution pill, and I'll hold up Boa Boon and Zombie Stein. So there's those. And I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, where is uh, Dark Elf? That's right, there she is. There's Dark Elf. Pretty awesome. But yeah, I I mean, despite the fact we didn't get, you know, insanely awesome pulls, uh, I actually really like this opening, and um, I actually, believe it or not, recommend uh, picking these up just because, well, for two reasons. Uh, I mean, the old school packs are really hard to find nowadays, first of all. You know what I mean? And those weren't, you know what I'm saying, like, the Metal Raiders one that we picked up anyway. Uh, maybe some of them are reprints with the EN, but ours wasn't. So, for that reason alone, yeah, I would not, um, you know, um, discourage you from picking picking these up from uh, Walmart while you still can. Because um, odds are there'll be somebody will, you know scoop all of them up, uh, pretty quickly, uh, anyway, uh, that's it for the opening, guys, uh, nice little short video today, and I will, uh, yeah, I don't know why this is such a long outro, but, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and, uh, don't know when this will be uploaded, today is actually March 14th, uh, 2018, so I have no idea, but, uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, <laughs> I don't know, sorry guys, I'm still like waking up basically, but yeah, you guys have a good day, I'll see you all next time. <sighs> Whew, man, hmm, Sparrow Wave, that's actually not a bad card. Hmm. <sighs> what else should I record today? Man, that's a short video. Maybe I should record some Pokemon Emerald. I haven't done that in a while. Man, if someone has subscribed to me and, like, that's what they subscribe for is Pokemon Emerald, gosh, I feel so guilty, man. Like, well, I haven't done that LP in a while. A while. A while, Brian. Uh, no, but it's funny, like, I was recently uh, watching one of my videos in editing and actually... I think I noticed that one of the Emerald videos, I actually forgot to do something in Verdant Turf Town. Well, not, Ver yeah, Rust Turf Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot to go from the Rust Turf side and actually use Rock Smash. Um, you know, I mean, they're in the cave to, um, <laughs> that's funny to free up the entrance. Uh, uh, yeah. I think the only other thing I'm waiting on for emerald is actually there's a uh it's not necessarily a failed recording but my computer crashed again so i need to basically wait till it decides for itself to start working again it was funny like the last time it crashed here recently it was about two or, two or three days ago but come yeah it was about this time last week actually but come wednesday it was it booted up just fine I booted it up about 3.15 in the afternoon, so. Huh. It's so weird, man. It's so weird. Maybe I'll try that again, yeah. 
instead of booting up like I just tried to boot up just now to do Nightmare Troubadour, but it was going beep beep, you know, doing the dial tone thing. So since I couldn't do that, maybe that's why I did uh, the 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 Metal Raiders thing today. So yeah. Anyway, wait, am I still recording? Oh, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll definitely be cutting like <laughs> the last three minutes out. Uh, yeah, cause I already did the outro, right? Yeah, yeah, already did the outro, so. Definitely be cutting all that out. Uh, unless I said something interesting or vlog-worthy. Did I? I don't know, man. <laughs> Probably just cut it all out, man. Cut it out, bro. What you doing, this foe? Cut it out. Oh, by the way, yeah, I didn't even apologize to the viewers about my voice. <clears throat> but you know how, like, when you first wake up, your voice is like, like, right now my voice is all, like, super deep, man. I sound like a real, like, I don't know, man. Like, I sound like a man, man. <laughs> like, it, it's weird, man. It's, it's, it's so weird, man. Like, you know, when you first wake up, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> like, you almost have to <clears throat> clear your throat. Like, yeah, I probably actually sounded, like, really... I don't know, I probably sounded com like a completely different man on this video. It's crazy, man. But, uh, oh. We got a train coming! Move! Can you move? I got a train! I don't even know if you guys can hear that train or not. Uh, but I can. Uh, yeah, the, uh, four o'clock train is about to pass through. Uh, they're by, uh, Reagan Homes, so in that Burger King. <laughs> it's funny, like, uh, a lot of my YouTube subscribers actually don't live in Arkansas. So, yeah, if any of you actually get some of the location references and stuff I talk about in Arkansas, Arkansas, y'all, uh, <laughs> go Hawks go. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> if any of you actually get, like, some of the references and stuff, yeah, you can leave a comment about that, too. That's actually... Ah, that's weird. You would think, like, um, yeah, I would have more subscribers from here. I, I think I have about a handful, like five or so. You know, those are just really good friends who I was just like, hey, man, I could use another subscriber or two. You know, like Diego or people like him, you know. I think Ryan also did it, too. Oh, by the way, that's what I forgot to say to start the video. Yeah, thanks to the recent subscribers, because uh, I think I recently got, like, four or five, because I was at 60, I was at like 62 last time I checked, and now it's like 65 or 66, I don't know, but anyway, you three subscribers, thank you very much, uh, am I vlogging, am I still recording, I don't know, oh I am, wow, that's, oh, I might as well keep vlogging, what else was I going to talk about, well I have been reapplying for work lately, like a lot of work, so actually I'm kind of glad I kept this in the video, um, just a side note, guys and girls, for everyone who's listening, um, I actually hate to sort of say this, um, because I don't want to preemptively, I don't want to say, like, I'm going on hiatus when I don't know for sure I'm not, you know what I mean? But, like, in other words, I haven't got a new job yet, but once I do, and I will, eventually here within, you know, three or four weeks, however long it takes, uh, through running through different, you know, areas of the work world. But once I do get employed, well, I'm going to just say this. I actually do have quite a bulk of, uh, you know, stuff for YouTube. I have quite a bulk of of uh, Dawn of Destiny. I, I do have quite a... That's actually... like I think I mentioned in another video that's all the way to part 100. Well, now it's all the way up to part, like, 110. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's it's weird, man. But we're still basically just grinding, and I still haven't got spills and traps I want. So, grind, grind, grind. I can't believe I made that a video. But, but anyway, now grind, grind. But anyway, yeah, long story short, I'm sort of glad I kept this, 
like vlogging because normally I would just cut at the end of that video but yeah that's actually a great vlog topic is yeah sorry guys like I my subscribers I love you guys uh yeah did, did I just say that is that is that weird to say well it's true man I really do um because I mean really I'm just like a regular guy I'm I like I don't even know how I got sixty two subscribers or however many I got you know what I mean like I'm not what's so special about me and nothing nothing exactly I'm really man I'm I mean I'm just like you guys who watch like you know uh, I'm a simple guy I like you know nerdy stuff <laughs> you know I like anime and Yu-Gi-Oh obviously and I don't that's not the only thing I like though I really like music not so much uh, music you know what I mean by like hip happening I don't like well some current music let me put it this way some like current you know hip and hopping new music I like and some I don't um but I actually like playing music I think you guys have seen that. Well, yeah, it's on my intro, right? With Susumu. Because I'm just sitting there playing the trombone. Like, da -na, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like playing music more than I like listening to music. Does that make sense? It should make sense. I mean, in theory, I should like, I should love both equally, but I don't. The truth is, I love playing trombone more than I like, you know, let's say, for example, listening to Snoop Dogg, or, yeah, does that make any sense, like, and believe it or not, music sort of is the reason, now this is going to sound weird, but music is sort of the key reason I started watching anime. Like, don't get me wrong, I actually really like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I understand a lot about it. But, you know what I mean? Like, when you first see... When you first pay attention to the show, that music sort of just draws you in. And it's weird to explain, but um, both in the English uh, version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, I know I have a lot of the music from the sub, but when you know on my channel, but yeah, music from the English version of the show, man, like it was great. Um, and not just Yu-Gi-Oh, but like Dragon Ball Z. Oh man, Bruce Faulkner, I love his soundtracks. I was actually listening to uh, you know, the flashback theme from Dragon Ball Z. I was listening to that all day at school today. <laughs> it was funny because uh, we actually had uh, like it's midterm week, so I was just sitting there. You know what I mean? Like, I was just sitting there listening to flashbacks. And like, and I was just sitting there thinking. Like, my head was pointing to the ceiling. Like, you know what I mean? Like, see, that's what I mean. Like, I just say Bruce Faulkner, and immediately I think of the, you know what I mean? Like, the, I think of the rhythm of the music. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I don't like just anime. And stuff like that. I also like, you know, regular TV shows like NCIS, CSI. I love CSI Miami. That's probably my favorite uh, crime investigation show. Um, we won't get fooled again. Don't get fooled again. You know what I mean? Uh, and the great show came, and he always has those one-liners. So it's just like... Oh no, she was stabbed with an icicle pick. Looks like this misunderstanding was cold as ice. And he takes off the shades like, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, basically my point is I like all kinds of stuff. Not just anime, but... Yeah, anime's pretty big though. Anime's pretty... If I had to, you know, equate the percentages of what I watch, I would say I watch anime more 
then. Oh. Do it? Yeah, well, and. Yeah. Oh. I watch anime quite a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it that way. Um, yeah. But yeah, music, yeah. That's probably also why I was drawn to the Game Boy games. Uh, Man, the themes are just so recognizable. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to describe every music theme ever, but I think you guys know what I mean. Like, that's what drew me in. Not so much as, oh, hey, I get to go on an adventure and raise this Pikachu or raise this, you know, Caterpie to level, maximum level, 100. No, I... That wasn't really what drew me to Pokemon as a kid. What drew me was, I was just like, man. Because there were some days where I wouldn't even play my Pokemon game. Uh, you know, our parents assigned us chores or, you know, something like that. And I would just, uh, you know, while I'm sweeping the floor, washing the dishes, you know, taking care of business, man. I would just actually uh, turn that Game Boy on and just listen to the music. And it would be like... It might even be the Pokemon Center music where it's just, where it's just sitting there. Dun, 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 And that's playing for however long it takes me to get my chores done. Sometimes two, three, five hours. Uh, five hours typically for chores. That would usually be a Saturday, maybe Friday. Yeah, usually Saturday though. Saturday morning or Saturday Saturday-ish, yeah. Usually Saturday. That's, I mean, because we had a lot of kids in our house, so with like f five of us kids, sometimes seven. Yeah, I say sometimes seven. That's That throws people off whenever I say that. They're like, how many brothers and sisters did you have? I'm like, five, sometimes seven. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, at one point we had seven kids in our house, man, living there uh, consistently, and uh, yeah. As you can imagine, pretty easy to dirty up, so some of the work would take, like all of us, with a combined team effort, it would take five hours, yeah, so. <sighs> we made it though, man. We used to be dirt poor, like look at all these packs on my wall. Like one of my friends, uh, Pedro, uh, Pe Pedro Hernandez, yeah, he was, he was telling me, he was like, hey man, how much is each one of these packs, like you see the packs all on the wall, on the wall there? I'm like, eh, about five bucks a pack. That's a good estimate. He's just like, man, so that's five bucks? And then he started pointing to each one, like, so that's, he's like, man, Josh, this is crazy. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Like, he started, he started to count them all up. I was like, dude, you'll never be able to. <laughs> I was like, you'll, I was like, because then I showed him, uh, I showed him like this, this dark beginning box. Like, I haven't even put these packs on the wall, you know <laughs> But I, in other words, my long story short was I was like, hey man, I've invested a lot in the game. And I have, I have. But I think it's been rewarded overall. So, um, yeah, I'll probably keep investing in the game till I die. Till I die. Or get married. <laughs> oh man, it's funny because. And that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> actually, actually, a buddy of mine he quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, I actually like asked him for his excuse. Well, he recently did get married, so it's just sort of a funny. That's one of those funny, like insider insider jokes. Like, he that's not actually why he quit. Of course, that's not the 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 real reason why he quit. Um, the extra money is helping him though quite a bit. But it's funny, I just, I even offered him, I was like, hey man, I was like, hey G-man, you want to borrow my my cards, make a deck? I don't care. You could have kept playing. And he was just like, oh. Well, it's too late now. I was like, is it? Is it? <laughs> you know, when we both just kind of looked at each other with weird looks on our face and started to laugh. Well, anyway, I think this video is at about 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to let you guys go, uh, and I hope you have a great weekend. Wait, what? I don't even know when I'm going to post this. Maybe I'll post it on Friday. 
that way my my great weekend applies. All right, guys, bye. <laughs> Oh, man. Whew. That was a good vlog.